Hey guys, so today, oh my god, I'm just so excited. I have a haul. Um, this is a collective haul. I've probably been getting this stuff for like two weeks ish, ish ish. So, yeah, and I'm really into this whole like natural products thing right now. So, a lot of it is from um, this website called Vitacost. And um, I learned about it from Beauty with Kendra, um, so thank you Kendra, but yeah, I've just been like into this whole like organic natural type stuff, and I also got some stuff from the cosmetic company outlet, the drugstore, Sephora, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get started. I'll start with the stuff I got from Vitacost. I've used pretty much all of this stuff. Um, I think, yeah, so I can, I'm not going to do a review on them, but I'll tell you if I like them or not, maybe. Okay, so the first thing, I don't even know what to start with. Okay, the first thing I got was coconut oil, and seriously, um, I saw on Pinterest, like, maybe like a post, there's like literally 110 gajillion thousands of uses for coconut oil, like you can use it for cooking, um, yeah, but this is pure extra virgin um, coconut oil, and it's organic as well. And I have been using this just as a moisturizer, like with my, I'll put a little in with my lotion, and it just gives you this like pretty glowy shine. So yeah, I think this was around $7. It's not supposed to be this liquidy. It's like, it's supposed to be more of like a little thicker consistency. But it's hot out, so I think it says like 72 degrees maybe. At 70, it like melts. So, oh, 76. So it must be 76 degrees in my house because it's been like this since I got it. Um, the next thing I got is this Alba Botanica. Botan yeah, <laughs> I was just making sure I said that right. Alba Botanica Hawaiian Facial Facial Wash. And I got in deep cleansing coconut milk. And I used this last night and this morning because I got this package in. I made two separate orders from Vitacost. And I got this one in yesterday. And I really like it so far. Um, I don't know. I guess like I've only used it twice. So it smells like uh, freaking amazing though. So yeah. And then I got this Alba Botanica Aloe and Green Tea Oil Free Moisturizer. And it just comes in a little jar. Um, like that. And it's very, it's a very thin moisturizer, so it's good to put over your makeup. Um, I used it last night, and I, I mean, I like it so far. So, yeah, but I haven't obviously used it that long. So, I'm not sure if I'll love it, like, in the long run, but I really like that stuff so far. Um, the next thing is this by Alba, again, like, I'm really digging Alba, if you can't tell. Um, this natural, very emollient, I don't know that word, <laughs> um, sunless tanner, and it's golden tanning without the sun. Um, I used this today for the first time, I got this in last night too, and I really like it. It says it takes, like, I mean, I guess I don't notice a huge difference, but I guess it takes, like, three hours to work, and it's only been, like, maybe one or two so um I guess I have to wait and see hmm, I don't know so um yeah got that and this was about this cleanser was around five dollars and the moisturizer was around 11 I think and it's originally 16 by the cost I didn't even say it's like all discounted prices so um yeah this was originally like 16 I think and I saw it at Walmart for like 16 bucks so and I got it for 11 so that's awesome and then this was around four or five I think the tanner and then I got this Alba on petroleum multi-purpose jelly and I heard some people I guess use this for like moisturizer it says moisturize dry skin help prevent chafing gently remove eye makeup soothe diaper rash create moisture barrier to prevent irritation I've been using it as a makeup remover um it's okay it's not my favorite um eye makeup remover that I've ever used but it's natural so I mean it's probably the best eye makeup remover that I've used for your skin but um 
Another thing that's really similar to this is the Bombs Away by the Bomb. I have like two of these. They came in like sets I got. And I really, I really, really like this one. I think I like this like jelly better than this one. But I mean, this one does. It's it's not like bad. I just like, you know, you dig. Um, and then I think the last, oh no, I have a few more. <laughs> I'm a psycho, I swear. Um, okay, the next thing I got from Vitacost is it's this, it's by Alba again and it's this natural acne dot um deep clean astringent and so it's um a toner and it says it reduces breakouts in eight hours um i don't know i used this last night and today and i really like this toner i've only used a few toners in my lifetime but um i probably use like five different ones maybe like not that many but whatever um i really like this so far I really, really do. It has silk, cell silk acid in it. Yeah, 2%. So, yeah. And then, <laughs> I think this is the last Alba thing, dear lord. Um, I got this Alba Botanica Natural, I don't know what this word is, emollient cream shave in cream in mango vanilla. And seriously, this stuff smells all freaking amazing. New favorite shaving cream. I want to try all the different scents, but I'm going to buy like eight of these and yeah. So that's awesome. And then I also got, seriously, like, I got all this stuff um, after I watched Beauty with Kendra's videos because she has, like, natural videos, so you should go check them out. But, um, yeah, I just became, like, totally obsessed. And, yeah, so I got, I've heard Michelle, it's, like, 281 or something like that. She's awesome, too. Um, she talked about this Cebu, Sea Buckthorn Oil, Seed Oil, um, and I just got, like, the mini bottle. I got this from Amazon, actually. And I like this stuff so far. It's supposed to help with, like, acne and redness in your face. Um, it smells really gross. So I have to put, like, a lotion over it when I use it. Because when you put a lotion over it, it, like, really masks um, the scent of it. But otherwise, I mean, I pretty much really, I pretty much really like it. No, but, like... I get, I, this I've only used a few times as well, so I guess I haven't used it enough to, like, tell you how much I like it. But, yeah. I got this. I think this was around, like, $7, maybe. Not too, too bad. Um, okay. I made a little trip to Sephora. And one thing I got was this Kat Von D eyeshadow palette in Little Saint. And it was on sale for 15 bucks. It has these shadows. It has, like... A creamy off-white, a brown, a purple, and a blue. They're super pretty. Never tried Kat Von D eyeshadows, but I really like this palette. So it looks like that. And again, it's in Little Saint. So, And then, oh God, this thing was such a rip-off. Why did I do this? I should have just bought the full chocolate, what is it, chocolate souffle, 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 whatever it is, bronzer. I should have just bought the full size because this freaking, I didn't know how much it was. There wasn't a price. I was like, oh, it's probably like 10 bucks. I got up to the register. It was $20. Oh, such an idiot. Okay. So I got this like little sample set and it comes, um, with, it says a deluxe prime to poreless bronze tint. You call this deluxe? Like, are you kidding me? So I haven't even used this yet. It's like a bronzed prime. And I've always wanted to try primed and poreless because I love my professional um, from Benefit. So I've always wanted to try this one. And it has like a bronze tint to it. So I don't know if I'll, I'll probably just have to put it like on my cheeks so it doesn't like make my old face bronze and like awkward and yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't try this stuff yet. And then this freaking like, it looks like an eyeshadow. This is the bronzer they gave me. Um, it's only this big, like, I don't know what I can, this is a Bare Minerals. It's bigger than, or it's smaller than a freaking Bare Minerals container. And this is like a mini container. This isn't like the full size face container. Um, so, and this was 20 freaking dollars. Like, I should have just bought the big one for 30. Are you kidding me? Like, but I do really, but I do really like, um, the bronzer. I do like the bronzer in itself. I just like really got ripped off and I'm pissed. So yeah, I've actually been using it as a matte crease eyeshadow and I really like that as it too. But um, yeah, so my next thing is my hot look order came in yesterday 
from The Balm. And um, I got three things. Like everyone else and their mother, I got the Mary Lou um, Luminizer. And it just looks like this. And it's like a pretty, just like a pretty highlight. I'm wearing a shade. Oh, you can't really tell. But um, it's super pretty. So if you haven't tried this or at least like swatch it or anything, well, they don't sell the bomb in Sephora. I don't know. I don't even know where they sell the bomb. Like I've gotten a TJ Maxx before, but I was just there a day in the New Harmony. Um, but yeah, the next thing I got was this Schwing black eyeliner. I don't know. It's a liquid liner. Um, and I used it today, and seriously, guys, like, I love this liquid liner. I hate liquid liner because I'm so bad at putting it on. But, um, yeah, it just looks like this, and it's not black. I, today's the first day I'm using it, so I don't know the, like, lasting power or anything like that. But it went on really good. I really, really, really like the brush. Why don't I show you? Why don't I open it back up and show you it? Because I'm sure you're wondering what it looks like and jesus lordy this is a long haul and i'm still not even close to being done okay so that's what it looks like um i really like it i think it's kind of comparable to the nyc um liquid eyeliner i have that one and that's probably my favorite just like applying wise maybe not the lasting power of it but just like applying wise of it So, and then I got an eyeshadow palette. I got Meet Matte. And, because I've just really been into, like, matte eyeshadows lately. IDK. But, um, it just has, how many are there? Nine. Um, matte eyeshadows. I'm not going to name off all the names, because that's just going to take too long. But, yeah. I used, I will tell you which one I used today, though. I used Meet Patel, I think, maybe. It's like a taupey, brownish, purpley ish. You know, one of those everyone's favorite colors to wear on their eyes. So, yeah. Um, Next, I will show you I got just a couple things from like, I went to Walmart one day. And I got this e.l.f. Health, Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. It was only a dollar. I really like this just like, putting over um, I put it over my blush. It just has this, like, pretty goldy, highlighty look to it. You can't really see that. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty over blush when you put it over blush. So, yeah. Um, and then I got this L'Oreal Voluminous Carmid Black Eyeshadow. Or, eyeshadow. What am I talking about? Um, mascara. Because I have it in waterproof, and it's seriously, like, my favorite mascara ever. But I was getting sick of taking off the waterproof, like taking off waterproof mascara so I just got the regular um and then I got this I love L'Oreal infallible infallible eyeshadows um so I got this one in ice latte but I'm pissed because it didn't come with that little like stopper thing in it that like presses it down so I'm just gonna like go to freaking like back to Walmart and steal one from there so I have just like the inside like so I have freaking or I could just return it like a normal person but <laughs> whatever um I don't think I think they look at me like a crazy person if I was like um I bought this and it doesn't have the stopper in, or the presser in it and I'm pissed so I did go to Old Navy I got these earrings that I'm wearing today these like this is like a purpley and this is like a bronzy ish and then it came with those as well this all came on one they seriously have the cutest jewelry if you guys haven't checked out old navy's jewelry go check it out because it's super cute and it's not um it's probably a little bit more pricey than forever 20 old navy's like my favorite store ever i got this black shirt there too um old navy is seriously like my favorite store ever and these were 6.95 for all three pairs so i think that's a pretty reasonable deal and then i also got just these aviators um, <laughs> and, yeah, I just think I look, like, so cool and classy, like, with my black shirt and my curly hair, like, oh, yeah, look at me. Um, and then I went to G's Penny Chain, and I found a pair of aviators that I really like for, like, seven bucks, and I think I paid 12 for these, and I was pissed. Um, <laughs> again, again, I get this a lot. So, yeah, okay, four more things. 
Um, I went to the cosmetic company outlet and I got this MAC paint pot in Nubile. And it's basically like, I've heard it, um, I've heard it be compared to Painterly. And I do not own Painterly. I own another pe paint pot, but I'm not sure what it's called, like Vintage Selection, I think. It's like a glittery, not glittery, like kind of shimmery champagne-ish color. But yeah, I used it today. I'm liking it. Um, I just wanted like a neutral paint pot. And then I got this eyeshadow quad. Um, and it's in Lady Grey, I think. Yeah. And I, it ha ooh, ooh, I got it in these, it, or I didn't get them. It just has these like purpley colors and I really only got it for this color. Um, right there because it's this like purpley, taupey, silvery gorgeousness. And I love it. That's what I'm wearing on my lid today. And I freaking love it. Um, so yeah. Working great. Okay, two more things. I went to a Bare Minerals outlet. And I got, I've heard people talk about Summer Bisque. It's like a concealer-y type thing. I have to do more research on it. Like, I use it under my eyes today. And I like it. Um, so, yeah, this was like 18 bucks, but I was like, whatever, like, I've been wanting it for a while, so I just got it. Yeah, it's in Summer Bisque. And then I got this, <laughs> another eyeshadow palette, like, what's wrong with me, seriously? Um, and it's this fabulous eye color palette. Um, I think that's just, like, the name of it, because they didn't have any other, like, colors. They just had, like, this one. Um, and it's really, like, unique. The outside looks like this. This is the back of it. Um, so it just has this, like, black, brown, taupey, and, like, I don't know. It almost looks like a light, bluey white, um, colors. But when you open it up, well, it looks like this. And then you take these, like, little covers off. And it's just, like, opened I chose a bad color to show you because I opened the white one. But see how it's just like open? And then like, and then when you put it down it has these like stoppers here so they don't like go everywhere. I don't know. I just think it's, so they are like loose eyeshadows. Um, but I don't know, I just thought it was like so nifty. But yeah, that's the end of my haul. Finally, jeez, like, yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.